Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from Technogram Info and I just noticed my microphone being way too far away. Hello, hi, I'm here. <laughs> um, today we are looking at the Big Bison, our first replay here in the FCM 50T. So let's take a look at what happens. Anyways, in the meantime I'm going to be talking about some stuff. Um, I have been working hard in the background here, which you haven't seen at all, on Tech Dragon. Um, the website has, you know, been pretty badly outdated as of quite a while, and I've been working on updating it, revitalizing it, and sort of making it into what it always was meant to be. I just never really got around to do it, and I finally got started on doing that. So I'll um, give more details as I have more information on that. But yeah. Ooh, put a good shot into the NASA one there. I'm just looking at the barrel there. We got some nice marks of excellence on there. What are we uh, in a platoon with? An M449 and IS-3. Okay. Hmm. Interesting uh, triple uh, team there. Amex M449 already got one hit by the looks of it. 100 damage? Not sure what that was. Actually, switch them team listing because it's screwed up as usual. Uh, might have been in a Type 64 or a Cromwell or WZ 131. Yeah, one of those probably hit him. Looking at the hill there, we do. Oh, we have some people there. Let's look what we have. Uh, only Hellcats? Oh, it's only Hellcats. I looked on the map like there were multiple. Oh, maybe they're out of range. Might just be just a Hellcat. Anyways. As I was saying, so Tech Dragon getting updated. Um, you won't see it for a little bit. Um, it's gonna be probably one of the biggest updates since launch. So it, it's gonna be a big update. Um, lots and lots of changes. Blind shot there, pretty sure that went in. Should have a line in the ice 3, we do. Oh, but the VK we can actually finish off. Yes, there we go. Finish off the ice 3. Um, uh, ice 3, the VK. Go for the ice 3 now. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, got a good shot into his engine deck there. So that's one thing that's coming in the future. I don't exactly know when yet. Uh, still working on it. It's quite hard. Um, there's a lot that needs to be done. Like, I'm finally getting the website to its full potential that I always meant it to be. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, gonna take some time. Um, just to give you an idea, I, I'm not gonna give everything away, but it's gonna contain a lot more articles, news, information, link it in with the website a bit more. Um, user accounts, so you can actually make an account there, log in, um, possibly get notifications of new stuff, um, select the things you want to see, and that's one of the big selling points I'm gonna have on there, where you can actually. Um, You'll get some suggestions of things that might interest you, and you can actually select the things that do interest you. And you're going to get possibly notifications, or just at least see those things that you actually are interested in. Um, so that might be interesting uh, to see how that works and that sort of stuff, but more on that later. And what else, what else? I don't know, I was going to say something else, but I completely forgot. Looking up the Type 64, they're putting in a blind shot. Not sure how much ammo this thing has. Oh, there's top 64. Mm, can't quite see him. We are getting not quite surrounded, but there are definitely tanks on all sides of us. Trying to go for the moots there. Don't quite manage to get the shot in. Well, we got an Oni over there. Gotta be careful, we can't sit still too long. There is artillery. Ow. Oh. oh, ow. Super Pershing manages to score a good hit on us, damaging our ammo rack. How are we still spotted? I don't think we are anymore, maybe? Fix the track. Now I can't see what's going on um, in terms of ammo and that sort of stuff. I don't think we pinned that one. Ice 3 on fire. Ice 3 is gone. T34 needs some shells into his face. Rapido. Come on, reload. There we go. Finish off T34. Type 64 is pushing down the middle. No, he's on the outside of the rails, actually. I just have the Super Pershing to deal with. Aim time is a bit long. Reload is probably not being helped by our damaged ammo rack. Type 64 
64 is visible. Come on, come on. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I was sure that was gonna go in, but nope. Friendly there asking for uh, fire support on the Super Pershing. We gotta be careful with this Type 64 that it doesn't spot us. Oh, got more shit coming up over the hill. WZ. No, he's not quite peeking out. Um, we can finish him off in one hit. It would be a nice fitting if we can get rid of him. And there we go, finish him off. Oh, but we do take another shot from the Nashorn. Another shot from the Super Pershing. We don't have that much health. That Super Pershing loves shooting us. I'm surprised that the artillery hasn't rained down on us. What else was I gonna say? I was gonna talk about Tech Dragon. I did. I don't remember. <laughs> I was gonna talk about something else. Something, somewhere, somehow? I don't remember. <laughs> um. Well, one thing I guess I do want to talk about is the Ryzen CPU. If you haven't heard, AMD has launched their new CPU line. Um, there's some good news, there's some bad news. Um, the full-blown hyper-threading, or, well, that's not what they call it, but multi-threading, 16-threaded um, performance is great. It, it beats Intel. Um, Single-core performance and then really looking at the um, instructions per second or I'm not sure what time unit they use but how many instructions it can handle basically I think it's per second um, IPS instructions per second I think so anyways uh, doesn't matter if you don't know what it is but Intel is still a bit ahead of that uh, oh trying to go for a shot there actually sadly don't manage to pen him things are still quite exciting here um, Still a lot of tanks everywhere, very dangerous ones. I'm pretty sure that went in. Um, so, yeah, um, the AMD is still a little bit behind on that, but they are they made a gigantic leap from the previous generation, and that's the one I have in my computer. Um, so they've been making very good progress, but the game performance is still lacking behind, and they're actually working on that with a bunch of game developers in order to... Uh, make that better so I'm gonna hold off on buying a new CPU I'm gonna look at what I'm gonna do I'm not entirely sure that's he's still alive oh we need this we need this reload oh god we really whoo this platoon may manage to finish off the super purging in time whew. um I'm not gonna buy one yet but just for shits and giggles I just looked at what I would roughly buy oh he just got deleted that last one was on full health. A bit of luck, we should be able to ambush this guy. Hopefully we can spot him before he spots us. There he is. He misses his shot. We do not miss. This was dangerous though, because the ISU was right down there. That was the Dicker Max, I think, putting in a shell. Maybe the artillery. Um, but because it definitely came from that direction. I'm gonna guess that the Dicker Max is sitting there. We should be uh, re-stealthed by now, so the ISU should not be able to spot us. It being a Russian TD does not have the best view range, so that's good for us. But yeah, the the Ryzen CPU, right? I keep getting distracted by this game. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna wait and see a little bit. Um, if anything, I'm probably gonna get the 1700X rather than the 1800X. Um, the 1800, it is a little bit faster, but at least right now in games only. Oh no, the Dick Max over there. Hmm, he does get him tracked. Dick Max fixes his tracks. Come on, come on, come on, get a line, get a line. There we go. One more shot. Oh, we set him on fire. Not sure if we if the not sure if he was still burning. I'm not sure if he's still gonna be there. Is he gonna risk a blind shot? I'm gonna guess yes. He is. <laughs> Kinda figured he would. He is now alone versus four. Oh crap. And there's some dangerous tanks. Um, I think, well, the RD and the SU-152 can potentially one-shot him. Only I'm not 100% sure about. Looking for that spot. Ah, oh, this is... This is bad. We can't spot him. I'm gonna assume he's in one of those bushes, but... Ah, oh, this is bad. 
Trying to go for a blind shot again. We don't have six cents, it seems. I was just waiting, like, we have to be spotted, right? Well, since there were two shells falling there, we are definitely spotted. This is bad, though. Um, I'm, I would turn around now and look for the SU-152. Like, yep, exactly what I expected. He is coming for us. Oh, and he missed, but our reload sucks monkey balls as well. Gotta stick in the low ground, otherwise he's gonna get a shot. Luckily, the ISU is doing the right thing for us, and being a derp, coming down into this hole with us. Oh, and we finish him off. Yes, go for the ram. There we go, finish him off. Totally the right thing to do. Now we gotta wait to re-stealth. Don't pop out yet, they know where you are, they know where you are. Got a good shot into the Oni. Um, I think at this point it is where um, the big bison here switches to AP, but we can't see shells because I'm using the 9.17.1 client rather than the 17. 17 crashes for me a lot, so I decided not to use that one and I can do the 17.1 replays in here. I just can't see like their consumables and their ammo, but meh. Could be worse. Can we finish them off? Yes we can. Good stuff there. Now we just have to deal with a Dicker Max and a GW Panther. I'm gonna assume that the Dicker Max is coming for us by now. He's gonna he's deciding here to go for the artillery. I doubt the artillery would move up. If anything, I would think he would move to a different location to get an easier shot at us. This is dangerous though to sit up here. Dicker Max actually has a fantastic view range um, for a TD, since most TDs got their view range nerfed. As I suspected, artillery moving. Kind of would imagine him going to the island at this point of the game. And he gets taken out as well. Now, outspotting the Dicky Max is going to be difficult if he's just going to sit stationary in a bush. Um, we could sit on cap and force him out. Then he's going to have to come to us. It's difficult, though, because he is going to have an easier job finding us than we will have finding him. Big Bison here is taking the right approach, going to where he was last spotted, reloading ammo. Not sure what he's reloading to. But, oh, and he just gave it away where he's at. That was not the best idea. For the Dicker Max, I mean. He should have stayed at least a little bit longer. Well, time is running out, actually. Ooh, he can definitely see us. Oh, and we missed. Disaster strikes. We are now a two shot. Maybe he's a one shot. Can imagine that he moved. He's not gonna be in the same spot, right? Blind shot. Nope. Gonna have to move up here. We have a minute left. Well, two. Oh, we bounce a shot. Go, 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 go. Now, oh, take your time. I'm guessing the nerves are getting to him, but he just bounced a shot. Either he didn't notice it, or he's just nervous as all hell at this point. That was, oh, potentially. I'm not gonna say it. Let's just wait and see. Oh, oh, there we go. Finally managed to take him out for the eighth kill in the game. <gasps> Let's take a look at the stats. And here we are with the stats. Well, I'm out of time, so I'm gonna just talk in the screen a little bit, and then I'm gonna have to go. So sadly, only one replay today, but whew, it was a long one, and it was a good one. Holy crap. Mastery Badge, Ace Tank, we got a Hand of God, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, <gasps> Radley Walters, Crucial Contribution, High Caliber, and a Top Gun. Did damage to a lot of people. Let's take a look. Walked away with 4.3k damage done, 8 kills. Quite a bit more, but look at this platoon. Carry much? <laughs> very, very much a carry here. Damage dropping off quickly after the platoon. I got 700 damage less already, and then dropping off even further. And having four people without any damage done. I mean, that's kind of the thing, though. If you want to have a fantastic game, it also means that your team has to suck a little bit. Not too much. Not not suck um, because if they're all good then you're gonna have less damage because everybody's getting damage if they suck too much you're just gonna get overwhelmed and die so it has to be the right combo of a semi sucky team and you know doing well and they definitely did well wow they had almost all the kills between them uh 12 13 14 kills between them 13 13 kills between them yeah 14 15 holy crap fired 37 shells hit 23 pen 20 Damaged uh, ammo rack was not helping in our reload. 
I almost felt like the gun was damaged as well, because that aim time seemed longer later on. Not sure, but maybe I wasn't seeing it that it was damaged. I don't know. Anywho, um, splash damage one? I guess we fired an HE shell at some point. Um, did 7.3k damage, 3.2 of that was at 300 meters or above. We took 8 hits to the face, 5 from penetrated, 3 did not. Yeah, this thing does have not really troll armor, but it can definitely bounce a shell from time to time. It's not horrific armor. Block 540 damage, we spotted 3 damage, 12 killed 8, well, 611 spotting damage. Got 61 cap uh, or decap points, defense points. Without a premium account, made 16k profit, and with everything said and done, all the bonuses and premium and premium and platoon and everything and whatnot, 3432 experience. Very, very nice. Um, 1 versus 4 with a damaged ammo rack. Yeah, well done. So, let me finish off what I was saying about the Ryzen. Um, the game performance right now is not fantastic. The hyper-threading, uh, or whatever you want to call it, multi-threading, is pretty damn good. So, for things like video rendering, which I do, it would be good, but it is a pricey CPU. But if you compare it to what Intel asks for a CPU of the same performance, it is double that. So. Yes, it's compared to Intel, it's cheap, but it's still 500 plus dollars, euros. A lot of money for just CPU. So I was just, for shits and giggles, um, I would need to replace my motherboard, my memory, and my CPU. And that brings it to <coughs> 1,000 euros. <coughs> yeah, it ain't gonna be cheap. But I'm not gonna buy it right now, I'm gonna wait for like a month, um, just to see what the market does, see if anything better comes out. Um, and to see what happens with the prices as well. Um, uh, you just don't want to be in that initial rush, and I want to see some of the optimizations coming. Um, AMD can do some optimizations in microcode. Microcode can be um, distributed with Windows um, or in a BIOS update. So either way, and games can optimize their game engines in order to uh, leverage the multi-threading better than they are right now. Just a little bit of technical information of how that is going. Um, I don't have one yet, Ryzen, so I can't do a review or anything. I will once I get one, um, but that might be a little bit. Might be a month, might be a month and a half or something or two. I'm not sure yet when I'm going to get it, but eventually. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.